We're Nate and Shannon, a traveling couple currently exploring the U.S. in our Toyota camper van. This week, Shannon is officially making her return to van life after spending a month in Florida. I have a big surprise for her when she gets back. So Shannon is coming back in a couple of days. And from that point on, she is gonna be with me pretty much full time in the van. We'll be back to where we were when we first left from Florida back in the spring. I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait to have her back on the road with us here. And the contents of this box, what's in this box, is a complete surprise for her. She has no idea that I got this, but it's something that she has really wanted for a long time. What's in this box is the Haybike Mars Fat Tire Folding Electric E-Bike. Electric E-Bike, it's just, it's an E-Bike. Electric bike, E-Bike. I've never owned one of these things before, so <laughs> I'm very new to the whole e-bike thing and all that, and I've never really been much of a bicyclist anyways. But Shannon, on the other hand, did have a bike in her Sprinter van, and it's something that she really has wanted, you know? It's just, for us, like, on the road, we're in this little tiny van here, and to have, a, you know, a bike, having a separate mode of transportation for us to be able to get some space for one of us to go off and go somewhere while the other is in the van or whatever it may be, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a game changer for us guys. So I am so excited about this thing. Full disclosure, Hey Bike did send me this bike here in exchange for doing this video and showing it off on the channel. They do have a lot of great reviews online and I thought it looked like a good option. And like I said, I think it's gonna make a huge difference for us on the road. So let's get it opened up and let's check it out. You may be wondering exactly how I plan to fit this inside the van. And I'm wondering that right about now as well. Pretty easy to get it all set up. Just took a couple of minutes. You know, there's a couple of a couple of latches that you have to lock into place. You have to screw in the handlebars, but you get it down pretty quickly. I bet I could get used to folding it and unfolding it within just a minute or so. So the good news is it does fit in here, just barely. The bad news is I now have no idea where I'm gonna put all the other stuff that was in here. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. So I'm on my way to get Shannon tomorrow in Albany, New York. And I decided to use our Harvest Host membership tonight. It's the second time we've done this now. And it's actually at a golf course here, so I'm getting in a quick nine. Notice how I'm going into the woods right now to try to find my ball. I actually hit two in here. And I think they're gone forever. It is definitely fall out here. Absolutely gorgeous. This drive has been incredible so far. You know, I never really was one to get super excited about the fall in the past, but for some reason this year, I've been like drinking pumpkin coffee and having pumpkin beers and just really getting into it. I'm really looking forward to the next couple of weeks. The colors are really starting to come out here and it's only gonna get better. Shannon's plane just landed. 
And we didn't just randomly pick Albany, New York. She actually has a really good friend that's getting married tomorrow. So we're here for the wedding. I think I'm gonna surprise Shin with the bike tonight. It's gonna be pretty hard to keep her from like going in the back and like noticing that things have been moved around. So I also don't really wanna like hold in the surprise anymore. I'm too excited about it. It'll be fun to see how she reacts. You said you always wanted a bike. I did. This looks so fun. It's really fun. So now I can like leave you behind and just go off on my own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay! really bad at bikes. So it's been a few days here. This is, I guess, the uh, the first real bike ride I've gone on with this thing. Like, it's about 10 miles round trip, so it's uh, gonna actually test it out a little bit. And it's a beautiful day, guys. We're now in Massachusetts. This is the Massachusetts Central Rail Trail. I guess this is technically the end of the railway. This is the eastern terminus here. I've gone about five miles so far, and I gotta say, having an e-bike definitely makes things a lot easier. I can still get in a workout. You can probably tell I'm a little bit out of breath here just from kind of running around and I can really push it up to a pretty good speed. I guess the biggest benefit is that I can just go a lot faster than I ever could on a traditional bike. You know, I, I'm not an expert on e-bikes. I know I've already said that here in this video. This is really my first time ever riding one. I still don't even have a helmet. I really need to get a helmet. That is like a priority for the next time I take this thing out. Probably figure out a way to mount this GoPro as well so I don't have to hold it while I'm riding around. But like, I'm very new to this whole thing. That being said, despite my lack of experience here, so far my first impression with this thing is pretty good. Like, you know, I know that they make e-bikes that are a lot more expensive. This is kind of a lower level one. It's under $1,000. It's one of the cheaper ones that you can get. Uh, some of these will go for two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000. I've seen even higher than that. But for what it is, like, I think it's gonna meet our needs perfectly. I don't think we really need anything much fancier than this. It really is all that we're gonna need on the road. What I have noticed is that the bike does have a little odometer on it. It has a little battery meter. It'll keep track of the miles that it has on the motor. So far we're at 6.8 miles. And it has one, two, and three settings in terms of like, I guess the gears of the, of the electric motor, or at least the speeds of the electric motor. One is the slowest and three is pretty fast. I was getting up to like 25 miles an hour with three uh, just on flat ground with only a little bit of pedaling. So I'm probably not gonna be doing that on the way back because I don't have a helmet like I just said, but uh, that's pretty cool. And it does have a little horn and it has lights. It's pretty straightforward. I actually really like the rack on the back too. That's really not something that, you know, most people might think about, but this thing back here, you could strap, you know, groceries to it or a few bags, whatever. We could definitely get something really easily that would play well with that. I'm sure that we will at some point in the future. belongings to make it fit. <laughs> I owe a huge thank you to Hey Bike for sending me this e-bike and allowing me to surprise Shannon with it. And like I've said a couple of times here, it's going to make a big difference for us on the road. It seems pretty solid so far, guys. A couple of things that kind of stick out that are maybe issues with it is that the, uh, the fender 
on the front, like the plastic piece there is a little bit bent and I, I don't know if it's really affecting the tire too much, but it just bothers me that's a little bent. I think that it might be like that because of the fact that we're storing it horribly in the back right now. Like there's no home for it. We're just like shoving it in there and taking it out. Uh, we don't really have too many other options at this point. I need to probably build like a shelf and reorganize the area so that we actually have a home for it. But that's, that's really all I can think of at this point. I will keep you all posted. In the future, they actually want me to do like a range test at some point in a future video. So uh, today I was able to go a little over 10 miles on that bike ride and I uh, took maybe about a quarter of the battery. So, uh, I mean, I'm guessing the range is probably around like 35, 40, maybe even a little bit more than that in terms of mileage. I will keep y'all posted. Like I said, I want to do that. I want to just go and push it and just see how long we can get that battery to go from full to empty while we're driving around. Actually, the battery's right here next to me right now. It's pretty cool how it comes out. Uh, this thing's pretty heavy. That That is another thing to think about if you are considering like an e-bike like this, especially the fat tire one. Uh, Shannon had a hard time getting this thing in the van on her own, like lifting it up and getting it in. I, for some reason, like I just didn't even think about it when I was doing it a couple of times when I first opened it out of the box, but it is pretty heavy. Uh, but we realized that if you just take the battery out and set the battery aside, it makes it so much lighter. Like she was actually able to get it up there today and get it in the back, which is good because if I'm not around, like she wants to be able to use it. She doesn't want to rely on me to have to like pull it out for her and put it back in. So that is a pretty good hack. I do have a promo code that you can use. It's only valid for the next month though. The promo code is element and there's a link right at the top of the description below. It'll get you $30 off uh, Hay Bike Mars and probably any of the other e-bikes that they have. They have a whole bunch of different ones, uh, just like regular mountain bike ones and, and road bikes and folding ones and then the fat tire one. I was really excited about the fat tire option uh, because I'm just thinking back to like the times that we were out in the desert boondocking in Nevada and Arizona and having something like that would have been awesome. Like one of us could have taken it and just gone into town and picked up some groceries and then kind of come back and it, it would just it would just be fun to be able to take it. It handles those off-road situations really well. I, I took it off on like a little trail today just through the leaves and I was kind of cruising around and that was actually the, the most fun that I had all day was doing that. I'm looking forward to finding some more trails like that in the future. I think that pretty much sums it up for this video, guys. I know this was kind of a weird one. Uh, I'm excited to have Shannon back with me. I cannot wait for the trip that we have planned to make our way down south to Florida. And uh, I am also finishing up with the van build. I know some folks are going to ask about that. We're kind of skipping a week here doing this bike video and then next week we'll get back to that build. I made a lot of progress with it. It's getting pretty close so I'll keep you all posted on that as well. As always I, I can't thank you all enough for following along and watching these videos and I'll talk to you all in the next one.